this is Trey Hunt or my client Becca Sizemore and our lovely husband Alan Sizemore. We're here today, we just got finished uh, annihilating our quads. I look like the more winded guy. You can tell she's more, more stamina than me right now. Um, we had a great session today at Arsenal Strength. Um, some great equipment to try, especially stuff I haven't really been around in a long time, maybe since my years of playing football, especially with the vertical leg press. Uh, so we did a lot with that today. Uh, we did incorporate some band work again. Um, Becca right now is inside three weeks out, so really for her, it's not trying to go crazy heavy, but just a field goal area we're working. Uh, we did it actually quite specific today. So I know my quads are burning. I'm sure yours are. Oh, yeah. For him watching, great. he's good watching it, so he, <laughs> he had a good time seeing us do it. But uh, really for her today, we're getting close, so I want to get some one-on-one -on -one training. It's actually the first time we've been working together since we've gotten training together. So really great time to go ahead and do that, especially on lower body work, since for her being a figure, you know, with you know just the constant agilities, the drills she does, the routine, you know, and plus lower body is always a very good focal point for most women in all divisions. So really want to focus on that today, uh, go over some things with questions and stuff that we need to answer since we are getting closer and stuff. And plus too, a lot of times we get more of an insight to somebody's true body in person than we do via pictures and video. A lot of times we see more transitioning up close, lighting plays a big role in it as well. So really want to get touch base and just really see how things are shaping up at this point. We like said we had a great uh, training session today. I'm very proud of this young lady because we've done a lot in about what, four and a half months time frame. So a lot in a short, uh, yeah. short period of time. Our goal was to just try to do a national level show is what we started out. You know, it was funny because we first started working together, I, I want to say it was three or four weeks before doing the, sh the first show. Mm -hmm. That was in Washington. Yeah. And then, you know, of course, the hopes of that one was, okay, let's go ahead and try to win. Again, overall, okay, got that accomplished. Then it was like, hey, juniors, let's, we're trying for a pro car, so of course, have to win overall on that one as well. She accomplished that in May. So then we kind of started thinking bigger. And of course, the bigger platform then was, okay, as a pro, let's go ahead and shoot for our first pro show this year. So this is fresh off the boat. Got one not too far away in Charlotte. Uh, so she had, I want to say, what, seven weeks or eight weeks after? Seven weeks. Basically, she had, uh, after getting the pro card, we had maybe three, four days of off season. Yeah. <laughs> and then we were right back in the contest prep uh, with your guidance, uh, followed everything to the letter, hoping just to go out. Our goal was to split the field. If there was 20 people in, we want to be in the top 10. You know, in fitness, uh, it is so, uh, so broad, everybody's. I think two thirds of the uh, fitness is scored on a routine, and then in the two piece round, you know, is the rest of it. So I actually wasn't there at the start of it. So she called me and said they got pulled out to the center in the first round in the two piece round. So I was working a show in Nashville, drove, I guess it's what, seven hours <laughs> all night to get there to watch the uh, fitness round, and she did amazing. And, and actually it was kind of one of those things where her first show, like I said, like I said, we're just kind of split the field. You know, even for us, the top five had been amazing. And, and she came in, she put a lot, she, she put, I know she put those last three weeks of hard work in, because I remember <laughs> updates for every day, just to make sure everything's on track, everything, and everything came in nicely, even comparing uh, her, you know, her national look to her first pro debut look was a complete difference. Uh, we're looking same thing for the Olympia. This is being you know all this done within a few month period. First Olympia, uh, she has the you know actually honor and privilege to be on stage with her uh, fitness coach mentor Tanji, who's been in it for I have no idea how long, a long time. I think 15 years yeah. going to Olympia or something like so that. So this is for her. This will be an amazing experience just to be on stage with a lot of these pros, a lot of her mentors, a lot of people she's been connected with. So even this one, we still we're still pushing what we can. Uh, still, we always want to do well, so our you know our goal is hey you know what split the field in and first first Olympia you know, if we can get that top five top six that's amazing for us and that'd be a, a huge accomplishment just to be done within a few months of you know being amateur to now be a pro uh, pro competitor so we're definitely excited about the next few weeks coming in uh, she's been working real hard with her routine uh, you know really honestly trying to stay it's one of those things I feel like is I'm very privilege and yet it's I mean all a lot of times for a lot of the fitness competitors just for the dynamics they have to do with working routines and the training and everything it's like you take a figure girl and you put her on stage but hey guess what you don't have to do it you're not doing just a two-piece 
you're also going to do a routine with it too. And this routine is just not like a pose routine. It's a full out choreographed. Two yeah. minutes, all you got. Yeah. <laughs> and I can imagine just amount hours, just many of these competitors spend on a weekly basis just perfecting the routine. And then, you know, talking to her and, you know, seeing a lot happen, there's always, you know, some people have to be careful because you're always battling some sort of injury. Um, with Becca, it's been more hip related, uh, tightness. You know, so she's trying to, you know, you're trying to get the training. It's like a, a you know, tug of war battle. You're trying to build your muscles, but at the same time, as you build, realizing those areas get tight too for stability as you do it. So you have to find a happy medium so you can do both and still be agile, active, but look the part. So, like I said, I commend all, you know, fitness competitors. I mean, if I went up there and just spun around for about a minute, I'd probably have to go to ER immediately. And I think Alan would agree with me too. We're not, we're not made to be that, that bouncy out there yeah. on the floor. But like I said, today has been a great day. Um, like I said, for her, I'm just real excited just to see her on stage, you know, on that big stage right there. And, you know, just to have a chance to be up there with a lot of those competitors and stuff, and the ones that she's probably followed for over the last decade as well. So, uh, like I said, we had a great day. Look forward to it. Uh, check us out. So we're going to be posting some more updates. Uh, hopefully, we post some more going up into Olympia with you know, a couple of competitors we have. And uh, like I said, a good time. It's fun. Fun. Everybody had fun. Okay. Even now, even now. <laughs> even I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so, until again, we'll be keeping updated on uh, YouTube posts that we're going to be posting. Uh, we're going to keep it steady as much as we can. We're going to look for a lot of competitors and even extra stuff on the, on the, on the rides. Oh,